So the problem with creating fast pentatonic lead lines is that the standard two notes per string scale shape doesn't really lend itself to it. Uh, you're limited really by how fast your left hand can move between the strings. So what can you do about it? Well, you can add another note. Um, so if I start with, say, my, my standard pentatonic shape and I, and I add another note to each string, I get this. Which is fine, but I've now got these repeated notes where I'm playing the same note on adjacent strings. And so this, this is really three different approaches to dealing with that. So the first one is, is reasonably straightforward. Instead of just playing one, two, three on each string, which highlights the fact that each string has a repeated note on it, why don't I change the note order so I could play one, three, two. Which, which sounds quite nice, and you can't really tell that there's a repeated note across the strings. Um, now, actually, there's a, there's a trick to this in terms of your note selections, and that is if you start on, on any particular string on the second note of the group of three, and in this case, you'll see I'm, I'm playing one, three, and finishing on the second note, then when I cross to the next string, I won't get a repeated note. And uh, if you go through the, the combinations, uh, you'll see that there are actually four different ways of playing three notes. Uh, so there's which start and finish on the second note. So there's one, three, two, three, one, two, uh, two, three, one, two, one, three. So, so that's the first thing is note ordering. Uh, the second thing you can do is you can just skip a string. Um, so instead of playing three notes on the E string, three notes on the B, three notes on the G, I just play. So I'm missing every other string here, which creates these big intervals. And you find if you do that, that certain pentatonic positions sound nicer than others. And so, for example, my favorite would be Up here on the on the on the ninth fret would be the A major pentaton. So if I was working around that shape, but I, I skipped the B and the D strings, I'd get this kind of sound. Which is an A6 pentaton A6 arpeggio. And, and I can really highlight that if I just play the A on the A string as well. Again. I get something that I can really sort of experiment with and get some quite nice sounds out of it. So that's string skipping. Uh, a third approach is to not skip the string entirely, but just skip the repeated notes. So in this case, um, If I start on the E string, that's a repeated note, and that's a repeated note, so on the B string I only play one note. But that gives me a full pentatonic scale. Now this approach is something that I've spoken about in a few vids in the past, so I'll, I'll put a link to this in the, uh, in the video and in the description as well if you want to explore this approach further I've, I've broken this down into all five positions at the neck so and this is this is an approach that I particularly like. So that's it three different ways of building your pentatonic lead lines so hopefully that's useful for you uh, see how you get on and we'll chat next time. Goodbye.